There are a ton of different ways to refine clay, but I'm going to show you the easiest way that I've found to refine clay usable for pottery. First, fill a container about a third the way with dirt or clay, and then the rest with water. The ratio I've found works best is about 30% clay and 70% water, but this is dirt we're talking about, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, use your hand to stir the mixture, trying your best to break up any clumps that might be in there. Once you feel confident you've got most of them, go ahead and let it rest. Now, the reason we let it rest at this point is because clay takes a while to become fully saturated with water. And when clay is saturated with water, it suspends itself as its own layer, thereby making it easier to isolate and separate. Later, we'll let it rest so that the heavier content sinks to the bottom, but for now, it's just about saturation. I found that the minimum amount of time you want it to rest is about 10 minutes, but my best results have come when I let it rest more than two, but less than 24 hours. Once you're good and rested, stir it up and remove any remaining clumps that might be in there. But make sure you squeeze out as much liquid as you can. That's free clay right there. Once you get the majority, let it rest for another 20 minutes. Now, this step is completely optional, but I've seen it help a ton. After the 20 minute rest, but before separating the clay, I found that running the majority of the liquid through just your average window screen helps remove any organic debris that makes the firing and drying process much more tricky. You can see in mine there's all sorts of debris and root pieces and random leaves. And depending on how much liquid you have, when the screen starts getting clogged with things that are not organic debris, go ahead and stop. You can use what's left in the original bucket as practice clay, but at that point it's a lot of gravel and sand and silt which doesn't dry or fire well. So if you strain it, go ahead and let it rest another 20 minutes and in the meantime get a cloth bag. Now this could be anything from a t-shirt with the holes plugged up or a pillowcase. I used a pillowcase because it's just easy. Then you're going to place it somewhere you don't mind it getting wet. Once the 20 minutes are up, pour your delicious soup into the bag until it becomes a little thicker. Now usually this is the bottom two to three inches, and if you strain it, all that's going to be left is silt and a little bit of sand. Go ahead and let the bag drain and dry, and just like that you've got moldable clay. Now this process does take a lot of time, but not much effort goes into it, which is what I like the most, because I have a million other things I have to work on. I'm new to pottery and I'm having a lot of trouble forming and drying the clay, so in the next video I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks that have helped me form and dry. So make sure you stick around for the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a good one.